guys good morning good afternoon to everyone out there it is the earth master here on this uh, sunday january 9th 2022 is the date about 11:35 a.m california time and the latest quake on the earthquake 3d globe a 2.6 earthquake up into the alaska region pretty shallow earthquake there at about 13 kilometers uh, looking at the latest information here on the usgs map let's go ahead and check this out here real quick there we go some activity ramping up of course along the western part of the uh, states also out here in the big island seeing some uptick as well including a 2.4 earthquake that just struck here within the last hour up north around the mauna kea area 33.8 kilometers below surface for that uh, somewhat deep earthquake there we have been seeing a little bit of movement up here around the the uh, mauna kea area over the last uh oh seven days or so let's go ahead and bring back the uh uh maybe it was before maybe it was uh last 30 days let's see a little bit of movement up there you can see the last 30 days of all magnitudes um, scattered up and about throughout the mauna kea area uh, so kind of just watching that uh, region for uh, activity as well seen uh, some movement out in the southeast flank lohi seamount uh, looks pretty quiet here no movement uh, really to report off the southeast area uh, let's go ahead and shoot over here to the uh, west coast area. Still looking at uh, a little bit of movement out there south of the San Francisco area, just off the San Andreas Fault here. Uh, a little bit of uh, microquake activity kicking up there, 1.5 at uh, 7.4 kilometers. The creeping section, though, looks pretty quiet, uh, at least over the last 24 hours there. Did see some uh, further movement uh, around the Los Angeles area as well. Up here in the north, <clears throat> looks like uh, just outside of the uh, San, Fer San Fernando area, a little microquake, uh, 1.5 kilometers, 13.7 kilometers for that. Uh, 1.5 magnitude, I should say, 13.7 uh, kilometers. Uh, still not completely well. I, I finally broke my fever. Uh, I did have a fever of 102 all night last night and uh, finally got it under 100 this morning. But man, it was about the uh, worst night of sleep I've had in a long time. Let me tell you, I'm not for sure what it was. Um, no runny nose, no sore throat, no congestion, no major cough, just a intense fever and body ache. And uh, what's weird is Missy Mimi's here had it too. So I can't say exactly what it is. All I know is I hope it's going away. I feel a little bit better, so keeping that fever down. The Palomar Observatory has seen some activity ramping up here again. Looking, look at that activity. 28 earthquakes there right around the Palomar Observatory, Palomar Mountain area. Uh, really kicking up here uh, yesterday and overnight. Uh, 30 days. You can see uh, quite a bit of movement here. 100 and, if we were to really zoom in, 157 earthquakes specifically within this area and uh the the depths here of these earthquakes are roughly around five to seven kilometers but uh we're still looking at some uh, deeper ones and shallower ones in the mix as well but uh something definitely brewing here and it is right off the uh the uh, elsinore fault system there's a couple different segments here you got one over here to the west and then a couple segments over here uh throughout the mountains and then the separate, uh, I think it's the San Felipe Fault system here to the east of this uh, mountain range. Not showing it here on the map, but uh, definitely something brewing up here, folks. Unless there's some type of science experiment going on there at the observatory that we're not being informed on. Uh, you just never know. Maybe they're uh, creating some earthquakes out there. We're testing out the uh, feature of creating earthquakes. Uh, San Jacinto Vault area northward up around the Riverside region. Getting in on a little bit of activity as well. Uh, some microquakes around the Loma Linda area. San Andreas Fault, though, looks pretty quiet here. That's this dark uh, red line there, the plate boundary. And uh, <clears throat> no further movement in the Gulf area. <clears throat> we did have a 4.7 uh, there yesterday into the Gulf of California. And... Um, <clears throat> 
see if we can get through this. <laughs> see if we can get through this. It's still having some hot flashes here. Not for sure what is going on. Uh, so yeah, some microquakes around the Ridgecrest region and north of the Garlock Fault structure. But man, things are pretty pretty calm right now. If you look at the uh, multitudes here, there's only a couple spotty earthquakes throughout the region, and in, including Nevada as well. Not a whole lot uh, going on there. Uh, right around the Millville, California area, getting a little bit of movement uh, just north of the Battle Creek Fault. Uh, some mountain range fault systems right there, 1.5 at 8.6 kilometers. And uh, also up here to the north, a little bit of swarming going on around the Mount Rainier area. Well, maybe not swarming, but a little increase in activity. See uh, just south of the uh, region, some deeper movement as well. Also a uh, 0.3 right smack dab at the Mount Rainier crater area. And to the north as well. Um, also a little bit of activity over here. Uh, off the Interstate 82, it looks like Benton City, a little swarm of activity around the Yakima River area. Not a whole lot to report up in the uh, Alaska region. Of course, they did have that uh, somewhat larger earthquake up there yesterday, 5 point, uh, I believe it was a 5.2. Yeah, 5.2 here. <clears throat> Uh, so since then, only seen a couple small uh, aftershocks within that area. Uh, the uh, Aleutian Islands and area southward here, or westward, I should say, along the Japan area, pretty quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to eat some uh, a little bit of yogurt here, I'm kind of soothing my throat a little bit, preventing. Uh, Preventing um, these little flare-ups of uh, intermittent uh, loss of voice. So hopefully uh, I can stick with that. Uh, keep my voice there. Oklahoma area getting in on a little bit of activity. 2.3 out around the Dibble, Oklahoma area. 3.3 uh, kilometers for the depth of that earthquake. Uh, not a whole lot going on in the Texas region or the New Madrid zone. Areas east here along the... Uh, Appalachian Mountains, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement being reported here on the Yellowstone map, or uh, at least on the USGS Yellowstone map, but uh, definitely some activity kicking up uh, overnight in the Yellowstone area, right around the Madison River area, Maple Creek area, getting in on uh, some spiky activity, indicating that localized earthquake movement. You can see uh, these earthquakes here, about, uh, I don't know, probably a good 10 earthquakes or so within that region. Also, Mary Lake picking up that activity as well. Uh, definitely looks like they're under 2.0 magnitudes, but uh, well, once again, USGS not showing a one earthquake at all uh, in that region. It's a weekend, right? Got to take the weekend off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Indonesia area, it's seen some uh, a little bit of activity ramping up there. A couple forests throughout the region and uh, Solomon Islands. Some further movement. Of course, we had that 5.9 last night, and uh, some deeper activity kicking up once again. A pair of fours at uh, one of them, at least 602 kilometers for uh, one of those earthquakes. Uh, pretty deep earthquake movement. South America remains relatively quiet. Not a whole lot of activity to uh, chat about down there. And the Middle America Trench here around the uh, Nicaragua area. Seen some further movement earlier today. And also a deep earthquake there, 4.4, well into the um, trench region uh, at 189 kilometers. Puerto Rico region, some uh, activity kicking up. Nothing spectacular, just a couple threes and some twos mixed in there uh, as well. Middle East, Mediterranean Sea, all these areas look pretty quiet except for a uh, 4.7. Uh, 104 kilometers in this area of the world. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Check out the Earthquakes Canada. Hoping that, man, I'm hoping this is just a downhill of it. Of course, there's the, uh, they had it at a 5.5 up there in the uh, Canada region. I think USGS reported a uh, 
5.2 for that magnitude there yesterday. Uh, since then, everything's pretty quiet, folks. Look at the uh, northern end of the Cascadia. Uh, very quiet. All this activity from uh, uh, over the last uh, month. Nothing within the last week uh, heightened up. Or nothing, nothing at all, basically, uh, picking up here in this region. And a trimmer map, I did check that out last night. There wasn't a whole lot going on, just 28 epicenters there in the southern Oregon region, southern end of the Cascadia. But uh, things still still relatively calm for that, uh, for that area of the Cascadia. Of course, we had that uh, KP index of uh, 5 kick up last night, creating a little bit of... Uh, Auroras at the higher latitudes. Looks like looks like uh, that sense has calmed down pretty uh, pretty nicely there. Not a whole lot going on. Only a 50% chance of a C flare, 10% chance of an M flare uh, with these current sunspots there that are facing Earth directly. So if anything does uh, pop off here, it will definitely be uh, Earth directed. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I'm hoping I will be back to normal uh, a little bit later tonight. I'm just going to keep taking the uh, <clears throat> ibuprofen. That seems to be helping with the uh, fever. I mean, 102 fever all night was not fun. Was, I was having, like, cold chills and then heat spells and cold chills, and it was just uh, it was horrible. That's all I'm going to say. It was absolutely horrible, so... Hopefully we're past the uh, the main part and are, it's all downhill now, hopefully. All right, guys, have a good day out there. Um, we will be back, of course, later this evening. Activity looking pretty spotty here on the globe. This is 24 hours of earthquake activity. And, uh, man, it's just not a whole lot of activity kicking up here on the planet when it comes to the, uh, you know, even the active spots. So, um Kind of waiting to see exactly where this is going to pick up at. Deeper movement, of course, here in the Fiji area. Good indicator of some further pressure here uh, along the Kermadec Trench. Might uh, be showing some further activity here pretty soon. All right, guys. We'll chat at you a little bit later on. Peace out.